McDavid. Moves in, McDavid goes upstairs! What a goal! Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanios here. Welcome to episode number 11 of my NHL 21 player creation series here on my channel. If you guys have missed any episodes up to this point, make sure that you go up into the top corner of the video right now, click the card, it will send you to a link of the entire playlist so you can get caught up on all the videos you've missed and you can add all these players to your game. Also guys, if you are new to the channel, please go down below, consider dropping a like on the video, it helps show this video to more people. And it also helps the YouTube algorithm get this video in front of more people's eyes on YouTube. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're trying to hit 1,200 subs. And also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss when these uploads come out. So guys, last episode we got through a bunch of 2022 eligible prospects, including the likes of Uri Slavkovsky, uh, Connor Geeky, and Ludwig Persson. Those guys all are all going to be great players in the future, but today we go on to part number two of 2022 eligible players. Obviously, these guys aren't going to be the top names in this draft class, such as Shane Wright, Matthew Savoie, and Brad Lambert, but there are definitely a bunch of other guys in here that are going to be top-end prospects still. And just before we get through or into the video in the time lapse, I did want to go over a comment or two here. The first one came from Matthew Thibault, who said, Owen Power has the rights to the Flint Firebirds in the OHL if, or, yeah, sorry, the Flint Firebirds have the right to Owen Power for the OHL if that helps. So I did go and put Owen Power on the Flint Firebirds. Um, obviously, he's going to be a top end defenseman, might go number one overall in the upcoming draft here. But, uh, Today we get into uh, five more players from 2022. Uh, those players are going to be along the likes of, let's see, I had in this list, we've got um, Elias Salomons, I believe it's Salomonson, or Salomonson, it's a hard name to say, but either way, Right after I finished creating this guy the other night, I was I, I was kind of tired and out of it, to be honest, guys. So he is in the game. I have gone and just updated his player. You can see he's listed as a 19-year-old, which is obviously incorrect. But I just want to show you guys on my rosters that I have gone and updated him. So he is one of the players that, we, or that I have edited. He is in the game already. I think he is going to be a fantastic defenseman as he grows into, uh, you know, just his hockey development a bit more, and he should get drafted into the NHL, but he is created, he's in the game already, so if you notice that uh, I just go and delete this guy right away here, that, uh, that is one thing. The other thing that was a little bit, uh, might be a little bit confusing to some of you, is that uh, Rutger McGrory here is actually assigned to a team, that being the Sioux Greyhounds. Um, he did get drafted by the Sioux Greyhounds, even though it was a very high possibility that he stayed in the States and didn't actually come up to the OHL. So that is what happened. He did actually commit to Notre Dame uh, for hockey prep school there, but he does have rights with the Sioux Greyhounds if you did ever want to go there. So um, that's where we have assigned him just for the game's sake because leaving players in the U.S. League is kind of anticlimactic as far as the jerseys and everything looks. But now that we've got all that out of the way, guys, cue the time lapse right after I go delete you know, one player here. But I do hope you guys enjoy the video. I just want to make sure that you guys understand that I am going and deleting players here. So if we go to edit players and we go over to Skeleftia in the SHL, you will see that uh, there are two Elias Solmonsons on this team. As you can see right there. Yep. So those two guys, obviously the, like the exact same player, except for the number. Um, so yeah, very similar statistics too, as you can see, like, I don't think the only thing that changes between the two is that the one I created had slightly higher puck skills. Everything else looks like dead on accurate for the most part. So it's pretty funny to see that I actually went and did that and didn't realize he was in the game until after. So anyways, guys, I will go and just delete him right away here once I get back to player creation. But, uh, yeah, then we'll get into the time-lapse, and that will be the video. 
as you can see, Elias Solmanson. I did go and create an entire player there, but he is now out of there and just on my... Wait, what? No, I wanted to delete him. Oh, I have to unassign him, right? Okay, that makes that makes more sense. Okay, so he is now gone. All right. So, cue the time lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.
right, guys, so that is going to wrap up the video. Uh, there's five more prospects that you can add to your game. For any of those of you who actually caught um, the other error in this video, I just want to explain that uh, Simon Nemec, or however you say his name, because it is, uh, it's is—it's Slovakian and it's a bit weird to pronounce, um, Nemec actually plays in the Slovakian Extra Liga, so it's not the main Extra Liga that's in the game. He actually plays for a team called HK Nitra, or Hockey Club Nitra, um, which are not in the game, so I just went and assigned him to the Extra Liga to um, HC Cometa uh, Brno, I believe is how you say it. And I, the only reason I picked that team is because the jerseys looked similar and I wanted him to be in a jersey color and not just assigned to, you know, rest of the world for scouting. So at least he's going to be in the extra league, which is in Europe, which is where he is currently playing. But mainly in Slovakia is where Nemec is based out of. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video and are looking forward to adding these players to your game, make sure that you go down below. Consider dropping a like on the video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm out and uh, drive more traffic to this video. Also, feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel and haven't yet. I'm trying to hit 1,200 subs. I know you guys can do that. And don't forget to leave comments for players you'd like to see next. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss when these uploads come out. But that's going to be it for me. This is Etanios signing out. And... See ya!